Hi, my name is Oluwakemi Melton Mahaji. I'm the founder, CEO of Signet Clothiers, and this is my startup story. It's actually a funny one, the way I um, um, took the decision to start. I was working in a, um, in like a microfinance, then what used to be a um, finance house. And then somehow my boss sacked me, let me use the word. <laughs> and, but, but before I got sacked, I've been into, you know, I make clothes for our staff and all of that. And he sees it. I, I think that was actually one of the issues because it felt, oh, face this if you know that's what you're meant for. So I told my husband, I want to branch out and do this. He didn't like the idea. My husband, he wants a professional woman and all that. So, so he didn't like the idea, but I kept doing it at home. And I think that was where the decision actually start from, started from. When I started, I didn't start with Signet. I started with um, Pleasure Beauty or something. I can't really remember. It was my husband that just gave me one funny name <laughs> like that when I started. But for Signet, at some point when I started um, drafting out my vision for Signet and all of that, I actually had to pray about it. I had to study about it. I just didn't want Signet to just be Signet. I wanted to impact this generation for good, you know. So I took my time to pray about it. And one day I was just studying and I came across um, a scripture in Ugai where it said it's going to make you as a signet ring. And that name signet, signet, it just kept ringing in my head. And I just told my husband, I'm going to use signet as my business name. I want to register signet as a business name. And he was like, ah, but we've sent beauty, pleasure. Oh, I can't remember the first name anymore. And I said, just try. My husband is also a very busy man. He works in a bank, so he's always very busy. I know I spend a lot of time here, so in the morning I cook breakfast, lunch, I keep it in, 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 you know, in a warmer so that he can go home and take lunch and then he won't need to be going around and eating out and then they're like, oh, it's because the wife is not available and all of that, you know. So I've been able to cover up that aspect and I designed my time, I just manage my time for the school. Signet Claudia is actually, we have um, uh, a, a, a one-stop shop. And it's not, I'm not going to call it a shop now because it's like a huge plaza. I have the design. In fact, it's right on my sister room table. Every morning I look at it, you know, where the institute is there, the, the um, um, facials is, is there, the clothing aspect is there, that's a showroom. And then everything is just packed, you know, in that one stop shop or no, let me call it a plaza now. Well, I want to tell them not to give up on their dreams. Whatever you set your mind to do, just keep pressing at it, keep pushing at it, be determined, and then don't stop learning. Never stop learning. No, no um, knowledge is wasted. Each, each time you have something new to learn, grab it. It's going to help a long way. And don't allow pride to overwhelm you. Because I've seen a lot of people coming up and then when you know something small, like it's all over your head and, you know, pride goes before you fall, you know. So if you want to be a fashion designer, you're going to have a lot of people saying positive comments about you, especially when your work starts coming out good. 
don't allow it to get too much into you and then stop you from growing and developing yourself. You know, that's what I have to say today. Keep pressing on. Nothing is impossible. <laughs>